Hi, welcome back. Welcome to today's forecourt film, which is for our beautiful 2016 BMW 435D M Sport convertible. Um, this is the uh, 435D, as I mentioned. It's also the X Drive model, so it has um, permanent all wheel drive. Uh, has a twin power turbo, 313 brake horsepower, 3 litre diesel engine. Um, is presented in absolutely beautiful condition in uh, much sought after esteril blue. Uh, massive fan of this colour, really suits the um, the shape of the car and everything like that as well. Um, and then we've also upgraded the car uh, with the slightly newer style BMW uh, wheels that is found on the M2 CS uh, and also some uh, some M4 and M3 models as well. Um, personally, I think really really suit the car. Uh, the, uh, the sort of slightly darker, dark grey spokes really um, really work quite nicely with the um, with the blue paint. As the wheels are obviously um, all completely brand new, they are all uh, totally unmarked. Uh, and we also have brand spanking new tyres all the way around as well. Um, again, so we're all, uh, all with, um, with full tread on there. They've uh, barely, barely even done a mile as yet. Um, across the front, we have um, adaptive uh, Xenon headlights. Um, so this is an additional one to the, to the standard uh, Xenon headlights that you get on the car. So they also um, have the cornering function um, at night time. And then also on uh, sort of slow movements, the um, fog lights turn uh, and uh, sort of light up the area as well when you're manoeuvring the car. So um, that's sort of across the front. And then we've also upgraded the, uh, the front of the car with the black gloss grille that you see here, um, which again, I think just works quite nicely with the, uh, with the wheels and also some of the black sort of highlights that we have, um, things like the, the bottom of the, the mirrors, um, the high gloss shadow line that runs all the way along the side of the car as well so in terms of bodywork um, it's in very very nice condition there's not a single dent or anything like that to uh, to mention um, you're obviously going to get the small smallest uh, very slightest stone chip and things like that these are very few and far between um, but obviously are present and that's um, that's just generally down to the uh, the sort of age of the car and a couple of very very light if I'm being quite picky very very light just chips there um, just on the door edges um, but certainly you have to be going sort of quite close in to, to see those and the rest of the car is in absolutely lovely condition. Um, so all the way down the passenger side and across to the rear bumper, no loading scratches or anything like that, um, all very very nice indeed. Um, no, uh, no scuffs to any of the bumpers and then we come all the way down the driver's side, again you'll see completely free of any blemishes or marks, all of the mirror housing and everything like that in very good condition and uh, again the windscreen free of any nasty chips or anything like that so yeah um the uh outside of the car like i said all in really lovely condition jumping in we have the beautiful black uh, dakota leather um the really nice um, thing on these convertibles is these sort of single piece sports seats that you get with the integrated headrests that i um, think they're really smart front and back as well uh, slightly different to the ones that you would uh, obviously normally receive on a, on a, on a 3 Series model. Um, and being a sports seat, you can pull out this centre section here as a sort of thigh support. Um, and the nice uh, features I think that work so well with the outside of the car is the blue stitching that runs all the way through throughout the um, the car. And then we also have the like the M flags on there as well. Um, so again, the seats look absolutely beautiful. Uh, very, very good condition. Bolster on the passenger side, all very nice. Um, and also on the driver's side where you'd expect to see a lot more wear. Again, that's, um, that's all been kept in very nice condition as well. Uh, and then you also see the blue line that runs all the way through. Doesn't really suit some of the other colours on the outside. So if you have a, a red car, for instance, and you, you would still get the, um, the blue line on, on there. But I think um, as the paint is, uh, is done in esteril blue, it actually works very, very nicely. And like I said, ties in uh, beautifully with the uh, sort of black leather and the blue stitching all the way through there. Uh, seats were electric in the front. Um, it's electric adjustment for the um, for the passenger seat, as we'll see here, and also electric for the uh, for the driver's seat, but with um, with uh, two person memory as well. So um, that can all be set up either by the keys um, or by pressing the memory buttons. The seats in the front are also heated, so you have three stage heated seats there. And then we also have dual zone climate control, which is separate temperatures for driver and passenger. Um, and then through to the back, we also have the additional vents here that you see um, for, for rear passengers, so they can actually control a lot of the temperature themselves. Got the centre bit here, but these are cup holders and a small storage area. Um, and then obviously the rear headrests and everything like that all around here. But yeah, as you hope you can see, and it's coming across on the screen, that the uh, condition of the interior is absolutely lovely. Uh, around to the back. 
open the boot really nice function on these obviously with the roof down you uh, lose quite a lot of the um, the boot space uh, as you would expect um, but in previous models um, and uh, a lot of cars that have sort of hard top models in order to be able to use the boot space which is not too bad for a weekend away um, but you really have to sort of str you struggle to, to get bags in through here so BMW have thought of this and with a button up here um, it actually raises the whole section So that comes out of the way. And then you can lift up this section here and then it gives you access to the full boot. So obviously you can't use the entire amount of space in, in there, um, but what you do, once you once you put your bags in um, easily, you then pull down this, which will show you the amount of space that you have. There's still quite a lot of um, height underneath here. So you can get two really decent sized sort of weekend bags, um, press this back down and everything clicks back in and everything's um, nice and safely tucked away in there um, and obviously you just do the reverse to get the, um, the bags out so a very very good idea and very very useful for I'm sure anybody that's sort of tried to go away for a weekend in one of these cars um, realizes just how useful that is. Around to the driver side you've got the memory buttons that I mentioned over there on the seats we have the beautiful M Sport three spoke steering wheel really nice and um, chunky M Sport steering wheel leather all in absolutely stunning condition we have automatic headlights, we have automatic windscreen wipers, um, and then because we have the uh, visibility package, which is the upgraded uh, lights on this one, um, we also have high beam assist, um, so the car will, will automatically dip the headlights when a car comes towards you at night to stop you from dazzling them, and then puts them back on as the car goes past. Um, further options we have are the, um, it's the professional satellite navigation. This is the wider screen system that we have up here. Um, covers you for the whole of Western Europe, um, and also has things like traffic reports. And if we come down to here, this is, um, you can also use um, full handwriting recognition um, on this touchpad down here on the iDrive. Um, but this is basically where all of the, um, all of the controls are done for your satellite navigation. Up here also, full media package, DAB digital radio, uh, as well as FM and AM. And then if we come through to the media section, we have a CD and DVD player. So this screen can actually become a DVD player um, when uh, when the car's not in motion, so you can, can watch films on there. Um, we also have the music collection, which is an onboard hard drive, so you can download music directly into the, into the main system and listen to it through there. Um, external devices is the one that most people would use. Um, these can be connected um, down here in the armrest, it's got USB and also um, auxiliary sockets as well. Um, but the uh, the most popular one is most likely to be the Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, so you don't have to plug your phone in. You can just use that for um, for streaming things like um, Spotify, pod podcasts, um, just music from your from your system or YouTube or anything like that, um, directly from your phone onto the main system, which is um, really nice and easy to use. Um, and the sound quality is excellent. Um, the rest of the stuff is just sort of your control panel. We make changes to the to the sound and things like that in here, um, as well as sort of the overall kind of control panel for the car. Um, so if we pop into here, you can um, you can set all sorts of different um, features and uh, and controls and things like that as well. I won't go through all of those now. It's quite a lot to show you. Um, vehicle information. So in here we have the things like the tire pressure monitoring. Um, so if the car had been driving for um, a few hundred yards or something, then up on heat on the screen here, we would actually display each individual um, tire pressure, which is quite useful. Um, we don't have a dipstick, so the engine oil level is um, is read through the car as well. And if we come through to service requirements, it tells you everything that needs to be done and and when. Uh, prior to sale, the car will have a brake fluid change, um, and it will also have a full oil service as well. Um, and then uh, a new MOT is due in March, so again, that will all be done before uh, the car is sold. Um, so there'll be absolutely nothing for the new owner to do anytime soon. The next thing after that would be a vehicle check in 2022 or 25,000 miles, depending on which one comes soonest. Uh, front brake pads have 18,000 miles worth of wear left on, on them and 24,000 miles for the rear brake pads as well. So um, the top three will all be done, um, like I said, prior to sale. Uh, so that's, that's the MOT and engine oil service and the brake fluid service as well. Um, that's pretty much it for, for the uh, for the main uh, screen up there. I said all of your climate control settings and everything like that down here. Across on the steering wheel, we have paddle shift gear change. Uh, we also have your um, controls for your cruise control. 
and then across onto the steering wheel as well we have um, voice control as well as all of your settings for your media and telephone and everything like that as well so it's all controlled uh, with sort of fingertip controls because um, this is the slightly facelifted model and um, they've done away with the ridiculous uh, lid that they used to have on here and this is now a sliding system for your cup holders which is very useful um, and then also a decent sized glove box and everything like that down there as well um, I think that's pretty much much it on the inside obviously with controls for the electric roof in fact we'll we'll do that now just to uh, demonstrate that uh, we'll see the mileage today is at 43 270 uh, we also have this black panel display up here as well um, so you have a, a digital readout up on there rather than the sort of traditional gauges that you get um, the roof is a one-touch system you just press and hold and we'll see the roof coming up in the back nice and quickly nice and smoothly doesn't sound like anything's stressing too hard on there And then when the windows come up at the end, that will signal the end of the um, the end of the process. So all windows back up, and the car has converted itself into a very nice looking coupe. Um, so again, <clears throat> things like the back back window, all in um, nice condition. There's no scratches or marks or anything like that to any of those. Uh, and the paintwork across the the roof is again completely unmarked, with no blemishes at all. Just take a step back and have a look at the car with the roof up. Absolutely love this colour. I think it really suits the um, suits the shape of the car beautifully. So there you go. Um, I hope this has been useful to you. If you require any further information or any close-ups on anything, then please do let us know. We're more than happy to help. If you have a part exchange to value, um, or if you require any finance figures, then also please let us know and we can, um, we can all uh, work those out for you. Ultimately, we'd love to get you down for a test drive, show you the car in person, and, um, and take it from there. But thank you very much again for watching, and we will see you next time.